Let's go ahead and check out LaunchBox, how to set up an ultimate SNES classic setup for your home PC. Go to launchbox-app.com or just search LaunchBox in your Google search. Go to the LaunchBox website. You should see a big download button here. Go ahead and click it. You do need to enter your email address, click download, and they will send you a download link within seconds in your inbox. Go ahead and download and install LaunchBox. So as you can see, LaunchBox is a front end system. It's similar to Emulation Station or Hyperspin or any other front end that allows you to organize, sort, and manage all of your emulation, your games, your emulators, everything. And LaunchBox has two things. There's the regular LaunchBox and there's something called Big Box if you pay extra for it. And I'll show you Big Box momentarily. But as you can see, this is extremely simple and you have a lot of customization. You can see how big you want icons to look. You could minimize, you can change it from uh, box art to screenshots. You have many, many ways to customize the look and feel of your launch box. We're not gonna really get into that for this tutorial. We're just gonna show you how to get your SNES up and running. So first thing you wanna do is go to tools, manage emulators, and let's say we didn't have SNES. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and pretend we're gonna start again. So let's go ahead and add. Okay, once you get to add, a lot of them are pre-populated in here. One of the most popular ones for SNES is the SNES 9X. Now, the great thing is it gives you a link here to just go and download it. Send you to the SNES 9X webpage. From here, you can just go down to downloads. And then within downloads, you should see a couple of different mirror websites. I just went to this one, for example, scroll all the way down, and I got the SNES 9X for Windows version 64-bit. Uh, all I did was I downloaded the zip file, and then I unzipped it into a folder on my desktop. Okay, you do have to unzip it with WinZip or 7-Zip and you will get a .exe for SNES 9X. Okay, once you've downloaded your SNES 9X, just go ahead and hit browse here and you just need to show LaunchBox where is your SNES 9X.exe file. For this tutorial, I did put it on my desktop. So I went to my desktop, I went to the new folder I created, there's my SNES 9X. Now you might have to click here and make sure you do all files, there it is, okay. You shouldn't need to do any more parameters or anything like that. You do want to go into associated uh, platforms and go ahead and make it the default for SNES. Go ahead and press OK. And now I've, now I've installed SNES 9X. The next thing to do is add your ROMs to LaunchBox. To do that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Import, ROM Files. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my files. What I'm doing here is I'm going to my Hyperspin build that I have. If you need the ROMs, you can get ROMs all over the internet. Unfortunately, I can't show you where exactly to get them. But for example, on this Hyperspin build, I have a lot of stuff already. So I can go down to Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I can go ahead and highlight all these ROMs. Go ahead and press Open. And they should populate here. I'm going to go to Next. These are going to be, and then you can tell at LaunchBox where you want them, what system it's for. It's going to be for the Super Nintendo entertainment system show default platforms that'll populate these next choose your emulator i'm going to go ahead and run snes 9x next use their current location i don't want to copy them again do you want them to search for your game information heck yeah i don't want to do that myself you can also tell it whether you want box art cart art whatever whatever you want for this tutorial i'm just going to be doing the box art i'm not currently enrolled in emu movies but this should be fine and i'm going to go ahead and import and parse Go ahead and hit finish, and this is now going to emulate and parse all those files for you. All right, now that I've imported all my games, I can just click any game and it should launch an SNES 9X. I have a little issue right now with my default, so I'm just going to go and right click and say launch with, make sure it's on SNES 9X. I got to switch off my retro arc, but it should load up just like this. So once it loads up, you can do Alt Enter to go to full screen mode. Once you're in here, go ahead and set up your controls really, really fast. It's very easy. Joypad number one. So here I am setting up my Logitech F710. You use a Xbox 360 style controller, whatever you want, SNES style controller. Just click on the configuration and then type in the corresponding button you want it to be on your joypad. As you can see here, it's pretty simple. If you do make any mistakes or you do use any duplicate buttons, it'll give you a little blue screen and you can fix those one by one. You can see here I make a mistake coming up and then I fix it very easily. Once you're done, press OK. You do not need to restart. It should be all set after this point. All right, got it.
All right, now my controller is configured. I'm now in the game. I'm using a Logitech F710 controller. And then you can all enter to go a little lower. You can um, save your state, set hotkeys, uh, change the frame settings, frame advance. So you can kind of fast forward the game if you like. You can change the sound settings, do cheat codes. This emulator is very, very powerful. You could do a lot with it. And uh, a simple exit. And let's say you want to play Aladdin instead. Launch Aladdin, and then all of a sudden you're Aladdin. The control should be saved from before. All enter gets you back into full screen mode. And as you can see, it's running flawlessly. You don't need much of a powerful computer for this all to run properly. I am on a powerful computer, but... Oh, I thought it was gonna... What a great game, eh? Got him. Come on, Apu, let's do this. Alright, we got some help, baby. Okay. Just kill a snake with an apple. That easy, people. I think this is one of those flying things. Right? Got him. Yeah. All right. I'll enter, and we're out. The other thing I want to show you was big box mode. All you gotta do is you click this button. So in my consoles here, we got Atari, we got Nintendo 64, we got PlayStation, we got Super Nintendo. So within Super Nintendo, I'm using this theme right now. There's all sorts of themes. You could do box art screenshots, all sorts of things. I can add the logos in. This is just a really quick, I just got this all loaded. Uh, once you find the game you want, like Arrow Fighters, I beat that yesterday. If anyone wants to check that out, just launch with SNES 9X. And there we go, people. We're back where we were. Remember, you can do all enter to go back to full screen mode. And here I am in full screen. You can edit the resolutions, all sorts of things once you're in the emulator using the SNES 9X. It's a great emulator, really good stuff. And as you see here, you know, it's working just, just great. Similar experience with Pi. And here I am on my D-pad. Rocking this game. I beat this game yesterday, by the way. If you want to see the entire game and the final boss, it's on my channel from the card crazy theme that I un 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 unveiled. I showed you that it's available for download, basically. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, let's get out of here. So you just click that. You can go ahead and uh, or hit escape. That exits as well. And then here we are, back in Big Box. And then back to the SNES Classic folder. You got your Aladdin, your Alien vs. Predator. There's different transitions, all sorts of things. So this is LaunchBox. This is how you set up SNES 9X. Super cool. Super cool to do with an old computer or a current computer. Have all your emulation, all your Steam games, everything in one place. Really cool stuff. Another thing LaunchBox did is they donated a ton of money for Black Friday. So good on them. It's a good company. I highly recommend you check out LaunchBox. And if you already have Hyperspin or something like that, this is a really easy transition. But even if you're starting from scratch and you're getting everything from the internet, you're downloading your ROMs, LaunchBox, all that stuff, as you saw, it maybe takes 10 to 15 minutes for everything to be set up and you will not 
be regretful for that time you spent doing that. Not only is it easy and fun, but when you're done, you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.